Every year, thousands of people volunteer their skills to foster peace and development around the world. It's one of the best things I've done so far. Very dedicated. We are going there to help a country. Very committed. That was really what a volunteer is. He's going, 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 going again. Very passionate. prone to many disaster, example uh, tsunami, cyclone, the, it has the long uh, coastal belt, uh, almost 50% of the villages were uh, living in the coastal belt. My mother alerted us that some sort of dangerous tide was coming. We were about to leave the house but the water pushed us out. My brother's wife and children were washed away. Later we found his wife tangled in a tree. She was still alive but the children were gone. Stories like these compelled Ravi to join the United Nations volunteers in his own country. As a social worker, Ravi felt he could support communities devastated by the 2004 tsunami. He joined many other volunteers working throughout India to help communities at risk to reduce the impact of natural disasters on their lives. Such a way we meet all the representatives of the communities, government functionaries, traditional leaders, women's group, school head, teachers and the students. And people will draw their community, uh, where they are living and what should be the uh, evacuation route. During the tsunami, I was here. In those days, we did not know what we should do. We lost so many things, we could not even save ourselves. Today we know the vulnerability of where we are living and that has been drawn up as a map. In case of tsunami or any emergency, we know our route. We have also identified the safe locations. Within the half an hour of the disaster strikes, the community really need to uh, uh, re respond immediately. These people should have some skills in terms of first aid, search and rescue, early warning, alerting the people to move to the safe places. So it's very important to the community to get involved and to be prepared to face the disaster. Inspired by UNV volunteers, hundreds of people, mostly women like Nisha, volunteer their time to learn and pass on life-saving skills. If this training had been carried out before the tsunami, we could have saved lives. That's why I'm now ready to help others. UN volunteers are the ones on the ground who make a lot of the UN's efforts a reality. Often, their approach inspires others to become involved with development activities, causing ripples of change across communities and towns. And, uh, as a volunteer, our job is not only with the communities, but also with the bridging between the government and the community. I really feel that, yes, because of my program, because of my contribution, I am able to uh, promote certain co concepts, certain changes in the community. That really saves the lives. National volunteers like Ravi help advance development within their own countries. Often, they work alongside international volunteers who bring complementary skills especially in times of crisis. I'm a United Nations volunteer from the Philippines. East Timor and the Philippines almost have the same history. No? Maybe we can also share the experience that we had in nurturing a nation from its birth up until its maturity. Factional violence tore through Timor-Leste, leaving many dead and thousands more homeless. But upcoming elections bring hope. The election is important because it will decide on a new government that will hopefully move our country forward. For this election, we still need the international presence because after the crisis, there was little trust among us. In this mission, Timor-Leste, we, we have a, 
a very large number of UNVs spread right across the country and in many ways they are in fact the backbone of our electoral support to this country. UNV volunteers work with national counterparts to deliver voter education, provide training for electoral staff and help ensure the smooth running of the vote. I support my national counterpart in terms of planning for the elections. No? Planning for the elections would mean uh, we look at uh, how many voters there are in the different villages. We plan how many polling centers we need to set up. The, the first uh, change that uh, we can see from Agustino is the level of confidence. No? Uh, the level of confidence, he, he's more confident dealing with them, addressing many people uh, with confidence that he knows what he's doing. In this way, the advice and support that UNV volunteers provide leaves a lasting impact, which ultimately enables people to take their own progress forward. What's next? The Timorese can organize the next election. To all stations, the security situation in Delhi is calm. They are based out. As of now, all polling stations, all polling centers, except for Atauro Island, are already here. So that's why we are smiling. We managed to retrieve and uh, things went well in the polling center. Still a long way to go, no? but we can say it's already a good election. I want to congratulate the Timorese people for putting the best imaginable end to a crisis that threatened seriously to life of the youngest democracy in the world. It's really good fun. Fun is to work with people of many cultures. And we do that a lot. Because it is a sacrifice and a challenge, but a great challenge. I'd recommend it to anybody, basically. I can make a difference. Yeah, you have volunteer.